my church is still twin, and you know that we lock in, and I love you like my kin, it's whatever for you. I go up and down that road, I go anywhere you go, when you tell me like it's... I'm my bad I'm Who is I think they said they were coming out with like an AI emoji. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's your favorite girl NJ again. And if you didn't already know, I am in Cancun for my birthday. Um, we just landed a couple hours ago and we wanted to rest and like get ready for dinner because I wanted to have a birthday dinner this evening because why not, even though it's not my birthday. Um, we're going to Nicoletta, it's like this Italian restaurant and it seems like it has really good vibes. So I'm like, I wanna go and take maybe some cute pictures. Um, I have like an hour to get ready. So I'm just about to do my makeup and yeah, probably about to take pictures and then head out. So let's go. I wish I hit my bar. Like, hey, bro. Y'all ain't rocking. Oh, I say The brand Period. is dead because she's taken. Period. The brand is gone. Why do you act up? <laughs> The restaurant was about a 20 minute drive from our hotel, which was very convenient. Um, Nicoletta is like an Italian type vibe. It goes hand in hand with Ilios, if I'm not mistaken, the Greek restaurant that they have. The drinks were amazing. I think I had like two or three and I got like a squid pasta, but I didn't really like it. But this beautiful cake they sent out was absolutely delicious. The hotel had the most beautiful spread for breakfast the next morning. They had veggies, parfaits, waffles pancakes cereals bagels potatoes meats i could go on and on honestly and then the restaurant was like right next to the beach so the view was absolutely amazing and then after breakfast we just went to do some activities we ended up going jet skiing which <laughs> ended up really badly because my phone ended up falling in the water but as you can see i was still having the time of my life i was feeling like some bonnie and clyde type shit <laughs> i thought i was i thought i was doing something taking my hair out but we now went on um paragliding i think that's what it's called and it was absolutely terrifying at first but ended up being like the most beautiful experience ever We hadn't spent any real time at the beach yet so we decided to just go and lay out and let me tell y'all i got the wickedest tan i don't know if y'all could tell and then i got this little coconut drink because i just felt like it made sense so i feel like i haven't spoken to you guys this morning yet but we went for breakfast and then we headed straight over to the beach slash pool to kind of like enjoy the water for a couple hours and now we're back in the hotel just trying to rest up and get ready because our next activity is at about 2 55 it's currently 12 something and so we're just gonna take the one hour two hours left to rest up shower probably clean up i'm not sure if i'm gonna wear this outfit to the next um activity because it's also like water related so we need a swimsuit and some swim shoes which i got from amazon before i left but we're just gonna rest up get ready and i'll see you guys when we are about to head out Our next activity required for us to be picked up so thankfully the booking and everything came with that system but we're basically going to the explore park explore fuego at escaret i can't remember what exact name it was but it was basically like a adventure park at night parkour stop that yes Put your head down. Ah! Okay. Ah! If I'm not mistaken, this adventure park had about six different attractions. They had a water slide, they had an underwater adventure, which is what we did in the caves. They had zip lining, ATVs, and here you can see we were heading towards the ATVs. We just had to get our instructions and wait for the last batch of people to go. 
then they put us right in our car they offered for me to drive and i was like i am not doing that i'm not trying to break nobody atv atvs are expensive then they had like a bunch of obstacle courses it was like a 45 an hour um adventure and most of their attractions were 45 minutes to an hour they had caves and a bunch of stuff and by the end of this we were absolutely famished so we headed to the food hall to get our food which is another reason why i booked this because they had like the option for a buffet um i wasn't able to record us getting on the zip line and the water slide because we were couldn't have our phones but here we were going water rafting Our excursions were back to back to back to back because while we were up at 5 a.m. to go see the Mayan ruins, we drove about four hours to the Yucatan to view the Chichen Itza. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. And it had no reason to be this hot this day, but thankfully I had my little mini fan. Our next stop was like exploring the city area and I explored myself right into a Fuji film store to get some cheap film for a Polaroid camera that I did not even bring. <laughs> next stop was a cenote to have like a little ceremony. Come on, then we got two, I got two. Ambos, both of them. Mata kini. Chiba chupa si ola lupat mata ni ujben lad. In our little excursion package, we got the opportunity to try out some tequila that was made there. And let me tell y'all, this was absolutely delicious. We ended up taking two bottles home. We got a mango and a coffee flavor and they were... I can't even put it into words. Then we headed over to the cenote and the view was breathtakingly terrifying. <laughs> but I had to go anyway and I ended up jumping in as you can see. Go! Go! Just jump! Just jump! After some time in the cenote, it was almost time to head back home, so we just headed up to get some food from the buffet because they also had one. And then I headed over to the hammocks because I have a newfound love for hammocks and I need one in my apartment immediately. I took a lay down and just some music before it was time to head back to the bus. As soon as we got to our hotel, I was out into the beach. I changed, got freshened up a little bit, and just went to enjoy the view since this was our last day there. And it was absolutely breathtaking. The view will always shock me. I love the water. I love Mexico. And I will be here time and time again. Then we just grabbed some food and headed to the room to watch Bridgerton. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye.